Hello, I'm Oliver from Tokyo Hobby. This one is the trailer from Fury Bear. It is 5XO plus 2XO. It is separated and can be assembled. We will see how is it. And later, we will assemble all of it, make it working to see the condition, how it's working. So here are the spare parts, wood plate, wires, LED light. This wire connections, so here are all the tire. Looks we got plenty of work to do to enjoy the assembling of this one. So this one is the parts charter and the speakers. Let's see. So this is the plus two. The to also part this is the head one plate it's only sliding okay leave it let's take it out goose neck head So I need to put and assemble. You will see the details later. One by one, take out all. Okay, so this is the main part for file exo plate. Well, it is a heavy or metal one. No, oh, shiny, it's a beautiful one. Okay, so put away the box, then we will see. Assemble all and play it. So the trailer rear part, five axle body. The middle part for two axle. The front. Okay. Okay. So we will assemble this one. Okay, so this is the uh, two plus five XO trailers from Fury Bear. This is the new version with the hydraulic control for the suspension. And also this goose neck to rise up and lower down. So here are all the parts, the wood widening plate and all this trailer body. Here are the junctions, oil hose, wires connections. These are the side lights. So like this is this is run, put in running parallel. So this is three for this side, and another three for here side. So this one got five five LED light in parallel here. So it is connecting one side and another one for this side. So this one is parallel. So if you put power three volt directly, it will be powered on. Okay, and uh, for and also got the rear lights. So here are all the tires. 30, 31, got 30 tires. Two for spare already I assemble at the front. These two spare already assemble. Here got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, and it, it is 28 tires. Okay, that's all. And uh, this one just for compare, it is old version without hydraulic system. So when you want to assemble all the LED light, you will need one uh, light board. So that's for additional, it is, it is not included in this package. You can run in, power it on directly without uh, switch control, it means without light board or you can assemble one light board to control it with your radio switch. Okay, and also you see here for the pump and the servo got three channel. So you will need additional the ESC and the receiver and the radio to control it. This is not in the package. So, so that 
this got so many small parts for the small, very small, these lights, screws, and the light cover. Light cover here. So it will, if you like these models, you take time to DIY on yourself. It is very enjoyable. So because the, all the parts making so delicate with metal, shiny and strong, very uh, uh, specific details. Okay, so later I will not assemble the lights. That's for our customer to enjoy doing it. I only uh, put on the tires and uh, put on receiver and the ESC to run in the hydraulic system and uh, the basic uh, me me mechanical system to show you. Thank you. I will assemble it all without the light system. Okay, so already I put all these 30 tires to the hub and also spare one. And I put the hydraulic in this oil tank. So now I put separate, this is additional, not including the package. This receiver, ESC and battery, not including in the package, but I put assembled, connected and testing this one. So start the radio. This is the receiver with this controller. And uh, power it on, that's for the hydraulic pump and uh, okay connected so this one is another battery it is for the turning the servo or the tires the st for steering okay connected not in the middle position good now it's in the middle position so okay i put the battery here and uh, recover it so let's first lift up, you will see this one, the middle position, so this one turning together from the truck, the fifth seat, one truck turning, so this seat also turning. In the meantime, when this one turning, we will make same time, this all the wheel axles turning together. And the front and the rear side turning not same direction, so this can make a quick turning with a small circle and all this angle can be adjusted from this, uh, this plate later we will see so now we check the hydraulic the all the wires are not tied together so you can see clearly these wires later after you receive you assemble all the light all, and these wires you can tie together also you can find a position under there to put maybe stick one box to fit all the wires and your receiver there okay let's test already on so pump are already plugged so got three channel three distribution valve there and one more is for the motor esc so for channel pump start this is come to see this one that's for the goose neck, up and down. Okay, I put the flag. And another channel controlling this front two axle. It's going down, lift up. It's all controlled by hydraulic. Later we will turn, turn it uh, around to see it. Okay, that's the top position. Go back. This pump now running, uh, the load is 70%. Maybe you can increase a little more to be more quick. So this one channel control two front hex, so another channel, one more channel. Okay, just to change the battery, 2S battery for the hydraulic pump. Let's start to see again. Now I have power. So let's, uh, let's lift up the rear 5 axle. Because each cylinder, each axle got a different resistance. So when you uh, lift up or withdraw the cylinder, it's not the same time to lift up or go back. So if you put a little weight on the trailer, it, they will go back and lift up same time. 
But if no weight, maybe one by one, they will lift up and go back. Okay, already lift up. Let's restore it back. This one first start. They got five axles, so ten cylinders. It's a little bit slow, so this one first goes back. And now second one start. If I put my hand a little weight on it, they will go back same time for the another four axle. Uh huh. Another thing is because this front two axle already lift up. This two was front three axle was in the air. <laughs> okay, let's take back all one by one. Okay, so going back, maybe sometime you're not seeing it moving, maybe another side is going back uh, first, then this side. So later, if you put some weight on the trailer, and the front axle and the rear axle can be going back at the same time, okay? These are already in the air, we will take back this front to one. Oh, cool! Okay, now dropping. Okay, now they are on the same level, so all tires touching the table. Okay, all the way down. Let's lift up again. Front two. Rear five. So this one, lifting up, yeah, like I said, not fast as the forward two because it got too many cylinders at the rear side. Okay, already lift up, one by one, already, okay, it should be already the top. Let's see other functions. And for the turning, we can, uh, let's see a little bit of the pump. If I turn a little bit, you can see it. Come to this side. Here are the, the pump and the distribution valve. So three channel, oil tank, also got the oil level you can see here. Here filling up, here is the return line, here is the vent. So only a hose for air vent. Okay, this side you can see the motor, it's down here. And uh, uh, under there is this one plate, under there is a sensor for, for sensing the turning of the, the seat. And let's turn it around, you can see it. Okay, I will put on a container so you can see more clearly. These wires already are not tight. Oh, this one oil, oil maybe come out. <laughs> Let me see. Just like this, okay. <laughs> so I'll hold with my hand a little, you can see. Let's turn it. When in the middle, is a line, so in the middle position, no light. When you turn it, it will have light and the rear side, all axles start turning. And this angle can be adjusted. See here, have seven hole. So first axle and until seven, the rear axle. I'll show you how to adjust. So this in the middle, you turn a little bit, like uh, with turning left. The truck turning left, this one turning left to, to the trailer, and the front also turning left, the rear side turning right side, and find a very small flat screwdriver. Let's check from this one. See here, I adjust the first one, is the first axle. I turn a little bit, you see, it's adjusting the turning angle. So if you put into this vertical position for this screw, it will be no turning. 
So I have to turn a little bit. So have a tiny angle. If you turn it a little more, so more big angle. Not too much. Yeah. After the servo got too much resistance reaching the end, maybe stuck the servo and burn the servo before reach the end. Yeah. Stop it. So one two until seven. Control is 7 XO, so how much you like to turn it, you can adjust here and then you put it back, see if it is aligned in the middle position, if no, you, you adjust a little bit, now in the middle you can adjust to be all aligned, that's how to do it, in the middle no light, when turning have light and can be adjusted all from here, good, so let's see this all the wires and holes. So one channel, uh -huh. one channel is this quick connecting. This is all. This is also quick connecting. So one channel for the rear two axles. Another channel coming from here go to here and connecting to this one. All connecting to these five rear axles. Okay. So these wires. These are the power for all the servo, 7 servo for turning. These are the uh, wires also for the, for the servo, for the signal. And uh, let's see one more. What to... Now you cannot turn by hand because how power, the servo is in position. You cannot turn by hand. So here you will see all the this connecting road, this rolling the bar I will power it off so we can push by hand you can see how it's moving I have disconnect the battery pull it out now we can turn it so by hand you will see this servo how it's moving this connecting road so other also free to turn it no power okay this is a rear axle suspension See this connecting road, and from this angle you can see here, inside how it's turning, moving for suspension. So when this one pushing, the oil can be going to other side axle. So when pushing this side, they can go other axle. So for the rear side, they got so many cylinders, so they can share the oil to each other. So you can press easily. Front two is not so easy because it's only two cylinder for each side to share the oil, so cannot go back directly to the oil tank or distribution well because you're not moving it; it is closed. Okay, that's the suspension and the side. This position are for the side light, and so the light is all there. Side light and the uh, rear light. Later you can put by yourself. These are the spares. That's the side light also. If you look from this one, inside inside there got screw, you, you lose it. This bar can be pulled out. You can put some wood there, wood plate to, to widen this trailer. Okay, let's see the rear side. That's for the light. That's light position. And I can put another light here. So that's all for this trailer. I will put it down. One thing is, so I only assembled the tires and uh, connecting the separate section get together with pin. I put oil, I, I put separate this additional, I take from myself the receiver and the battery and the ESC and the radio to test. So let after you receive this one, so you have to do, as I show you, to adjust the angle for each file axle all connected and uh, you can do the light by yourself one by one to put in position. Okay, this is the hydraulic controlled suspension uh, 7 axle trailer from Fury Bear. Thank you very much. We will see each other again for other models.